Zoax.net. Lesson 11. Quicksort General Algorithm. The prior quicksort algorithm sorted arrays of elements where the elements were unique. In this lesson, we will use a similar algorithm, but a few things need to be changed to make it work with repetitions. As before, this quicksort algorithm relies on a basic partition step to split an array into two sections. We begin the partition step by selecting an element to be the pivot. Ideally, the pivot should be the median element, but it is chosen randomly to make the selection process quicker. For this example, assume that 6 was randomly chosen. Then we create two selectors, one for the beginning of the array, shown with the white arrow, and one for the end of the array, shown with the black arrow. These are used to mark the positions of the elements that we are checking. We move the first selector forward until we find an element that is greater than or equal to the pivot. And we move the second selector until we find an element that is less than or equal to the pivot. Notice that we show the selectors moving first, and then color the background gray to illustrate when the element is tested. After both selectors find an element, we swap the elements. We continue doing this until the two selectors pass each other. Once that happens, we have the array divided into two pieces, the elements that are less than or equal to the pivot, and the elements that are greater than or equal to the pivot. That finishes the partition step. The quicksort algorithm is performed via a series of recursive partition steps that eventually subdivide the array into single elements. We will illustrate this process with a detailed example. We begin the quicksort with an unordered array like this one. Then we choose a pivot. In this case, the selected pivot is 3. The pivots will be shown in white above the respective partitions. After the first partition step, the array is split into the elements that are less than or equal to the pivot and those that are greater than or equal to the pivot. The partitions are separated with a white line. Once this array is split, the partition step is performed on each of the sections. For the first section, the pivot 2 is selected. For the second, the pivot 9 is selected. After this set of partition steps, we have four partitions. In the array, we use white lines to illustrate the new splits in the array, while the old split is shown in gray. At this point, we have four sections. The partition step is performed on each section with the pivots 0, 3, 6, and 9. The new splits are shown again in white. After this last set of splits, the array is partitioned into eight pieces. However, we only need to be concerned about the two sections that have more than one element. For these, we have the pivots 3 and 5. In the last step, these two sections are partitioned into single elements and the array is sorted. Notice that the array was sorted two stages back in this case, but that was purely coincidental. A C++ implementation of the general quicksort is available on our lesson page at zoax.net. There you can find an explanation of the entire program as well.